there was this girl that was happy and sad at the same time. She was happy because she saw her friends, but she was sad because she'd sat by herself in a different part of the train for the whole journey, and she didn't realize her friends were right there in the same train, in a different part of the train. She could have spent the rest of her day being upset over the fact that she didn't get to hang out for longer with her friends, or she could just rejoice in the fact that she saw them for a fleeting minute before she had to go on her merry way. I don't know what her reaction was. It's easy to let little things bum us out and get the better of us. It's easier to focus on the negative rather than focusing on the positive. For example, I could focus on the fact that the United Nations are supporting terrorists and they waste heaps of food every time they have conferences and their soldiers whilst keeping the peace are also contributors towards the spread of HIV AIDS because they lack self-control in how they behave I don't know if that would be any different if they had more female soldiers than male soldiers it's a good thing that they encourage the people of the world to look after refugees but they shouldn't force the countries of the world to take in refugees when they don't want to I'm happy to agree to disagree with people on that issue my countries both my birth country and my adopted country are currently facing financial crisis because they're in debt up to their eyeballs if they're in a financially stable situation it might be more feasible to take in illegal refugees if there's a war torn situation in the world it's possible to drop food in order to help people in need instead of taking them in your country it's not bad to take them in your country but you have to be in a financially stable situation it's better to have people that have useful skills that can add to your country instead of detracting from it sure anyone can pick up garbage and anyone can serve food but we need people that are good with medicine good with dispensing and injecting medicine good with injecting needles and taking blood from people there's a huge need for doctors in the country areas because nobody wants to go to the country everybody wants to go to the city there's a great need for medical assistance in America some people think they have to go overseas to help the homeless and to help those with medical needs but I'm sure there's plenty of needs in your own country some people just want to combine serving the Lord with having an adventure and I can see I can see the attraction in that though there might be more merit in just serving the Lord wherever it is he's planted you
everybody's life has the potential to be beautiful. Even if you're stuck in the middle of the desert. I know people who've been living in houses that were filling up with water. Yet they still had an internet connection so they are better off than those who weren't in their shoes. Because they're able to reach out to the world. I love the fact that we can now have solar powered computers so you don't need electricity to be able to connect with the world. I just wish that technology was available in my country. I think more than access to the internet being a basic human right, every Christian in the world should have the right to practice their religion without fear of persecution. Every Christian pastor should be able to conduct services and preach what God says about sexuality. They should have the right of refusal. They should be able to refuse to marry homosexual couples because it's against our religion. If they don't have that right, then the country they live in isn't truly expressing tolerance. They aren't truly expressing freedom of religion. I'm also opposed to punishing homosexuals by giving them jail time and physically abusing them and killing them. God, please look after all who are your sheep, those who have strayed from the righteous path, bring them back to you, good shepherd, those who are in confusion about their gender identity, those who are unsure if you exist, Give them clarity, take away their confusion. You are the solution to every problem in the universe. All we have to do is trust in you. If we want true, lasting peace and joy, if we want to experience love in all its unconditional fullness with no strings attached, all you require from us is the complete and total surrender of our hearts and souls. It's not easy, but it's necessary. You are the one who makes our yokes easy and our burdens light. You are the glory and the lifter of our heads. You are a shield to us. You are our fortress. You are a mighty warrior. You are the captain and commander of the armies of angels. You are able to rescue us from disaster. God comfort those right now that are victims of these bombs that have been dropped in Austin. Thank you, Lord God, that you will convict those who have engaged in acts of hate and terror, those who attempt to destroy us because of what we believe, those who possess misconceptions and misperceptions 
about us because of the way our governments behave. They throw us all in the same box. They lump us all in the same category. To some, America is known as the Great Satan. To others, it's known as humanity's greatest friend. Even countries that are intolerant of missionaries are friends of America because America helps to defend the borders of those countries. America came to the rescue of Saudi Arabia and helped to train its soldiers. America helped to provide for the financial need of South American countries when they're in a food crisis. It wasn't America's fault that the food money was distributed unfairly and misappropriated and used to buy drugs. Just like it wasn't the fault of the Western countries who gave money to African countries for AIDS relief and then it was misappropriated and used to keep the rich rich and in the meantime those who are suffering from AIDS continue to suffer. They found a drug to make it easier for people with AIDS to live a long and happy life. Even if you get rid of the physical problem, you don't get rid of the spiritual problem, which is eternal separation from God if we don't repent of our sins and ask God to come and dwell within us. This relates to every sin under the sun, including lying, stealing, taking the Lord's name in vain, lusting or desiring what doesn't belong to you. It's hard to know where God draws the line sometimes. He gave us sexual desire yet. He doesn't want us to lust after women who don't belong to us. He wants us to have that pure hearted love towards women. Sexual desire is pure if it's focused on just one woman. If you're able to think about that woman in a way that doesn't associate her with sex objects, if you're able to love the whole person, to love her in spirit, soul and body, if you're able to love her the way Christ loves the church, which is more than your own life, you have to be willing to lay down your life for a woman if you say you truly love her. You should love her even when she makes you angry, even when she doesn't do the things you wanted to do, even when she tests your patience. If you're not patient with her, then you can't truly say that you love her. You can say you love her physical beauty, but you can't say you love the whole being. God help me to love how you love. I'm still trying to work out in my head how to love women like you love them. I know you had a sex drive when you came to this earth in human form, but you never gave in to temptation. I've ruined your thought life or in physical action. You wouldn't have seen it as a sin to have children, but there was no purpose for you having children. Your purpose was to seek and save the lost, to call the lost so they would seek you out in the secret place and public place. Your love is impossible to erase because your love is stronger than death. Death has no sting for you. 
because it's being swallowed up by life. O oh Lord God, you hold us accountable for every idle word we speak. Forgive me for my idle words, Lord. Forgive me for all the words that I've wasted. Lord God, bring back all the friends that I've lost. Let me love how you love. Let me hate the things you hate. Change the desires of my heart so they reflect your own. Peace out.